Dubbed witchweed, Striga has been threatening food security in Africa for decades. It's one of the leading causes of crop loss, a significant dent to farmers' livelihoods. The prevalence of Striga infestation is steadily increasing in the continent, but a new project aims to fight the effects of the witchweed and is already yielding results. Uh, in the Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania, it affects about 1 million hectares. But uh, through this project, uh, the, which is now termed the strike away, where we are using herbicide resistant maize that is resistant to the chemical, but it, 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 the strike gets destroyed, uh, about 30,000 hectares have already been reclaimed. In the recent past, Sub Saharan Africa has seen a devastating crop loss of up to $1 billion, prompting urgent action from governments across the continent. There have been interventions to take care of uh, the challenge of food insecurity. One of the interventions has been through importation of maize. Besides erratic weather, drought and disease, the continent is now facing a new challenge. And now we also have a new invader in our maize production uh, systems, the fall armyworm. Measures have been put in place to try to mitigate the effects of the pest across the continent. Some of the interventions, uh, the quick uh, win uh, interventions have uh, involved uh, the use of pesticides. The use of pesticides is not a silver bullet in itself because the right product is important and also how you use the product is, uh, is important. These measures have done little to stem the advance of the pest, which continues to threaten thousands of hectares of farmland in over 20 countries on the continent. Currently, the hectareage uh, of uh, maize that is affected by fall armyworm is uh, around 220,000 hectares. And uh, we also know that um, more hectareage is uh, at risk of fall armyworm attack because of uh, the way it spreads and it spreads very fast. Food production is one way to ensure food security, but this requires significant investment and cooperation from both private and public sector stakeholders. I think that one of the, the ways we need to talk about food security is the market opportunity that um, providing improved technologies that enhance productivity is really a profit-driven um, model and that encourages private sector companies to become engaged in that and as they're able to provide uh, and demonstrate that there are positive economic returns on those technologies in those markets, then that will naturally drive investment into those companies. With two-thirds of Africa's population dependent on farming for their livelihoods, boosting agriculture can create economic opportunities, reduce malnutrition and poverty, and generate faster growth. Vic Chege, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.